Hi, I'm Steve Latham. I'm here with the Yale Interdisciplinary Center for Bioethics, and I'm talking today with Sheena Egan. And Sheena is teaching in our uh, Newland Summer Institute on Bioethics. So I just want to start off by asking you to tell us uh, about your educational background. Of course. So I'm originally from Canada, and I got my Bachelor's of Arts a majoring in philosophy from the University of New Brunswick. That's when I first became interested in medical ethics. I was interested in public health ethics, so then I went on to get my MPH at the Uniformed Services University of the Health Sciences, which is the military medical school here in the U.S. And then after that, I went down to Texas and got my PhD in the medical humanities from the Institute for the Medical Humanities at the University of Texas Medical Branch. And there I specialized in, in Galveston. In Galveston, Texas, yes. exactly. Yes. And because it's the medical humanities and it's a little bit kind of amorphous and interdisciplinary, uh, we pick majors and minors. And so I majored in the history of medicine and medical ethics with a minor in health policy. Great. And where are you now when you're not here at the Summer Institute? Where are you uh, being an academic? Now I'm an assistant professor in the Department of Bioethics and Interdisciplinary Studies at East Carolina University, and specifically at the medical school, the Brody School of Medicine. And what kind of work are you doing now? Well, honestly, ever since uh, I got my MPH at USIS, I became really interested in military medical ethics. That's what I specialized my dissertation work and my doctoral research on. And now I'm kind of living it in practice. And so one of the reasons I have the job that I have at ECU is to do professional development and outreach with nearby military installations. So I've been kind of putting my dissertation work and all the things I called for into practice and doing some grand rounds and workshops at local um, Marine Corps bases and Army bases. On what kinds of issues? I mean, are you talking about issues in bioethics? Or are you talking about clinical ethics consultation or what sort of thing? Uh, well, mostly a kind of general overview of military medical ethics to get residents in um, military medical programs or staff at these military medical facilities to think about the unique ethical dilemmas that they'll face that aren't necessarily addressed by civilian or so-called civilian medical ethics or civilian kind of bioethics education. So we look at the problem of dual loyalties. That's what I focused a lot of my research on this idea that they're pulled in two different directions, um, one towards the moral obligations of being a physician and the other with the moral obligations of being a member of the profession of arms or the professional military. So we talk about that. I'm always sure to kind of acquaint them with a recent doctrine um, from the U.S. military and then work through some case studies to kind of get them to flex that moral decision-making muscle. Great. Uh, so what are you teaching in the Summer Institute? I teach, coincidentally, uh, medical ethics in war, armed conflict, and genocide. So uh, again, touching on the problems of dual loyalty and case studies in military medical ethics. And then also public health ethics, which I've been teaching for the last two years. And, and then finally, new this year is a medical humanities seminar. So we'll talk about the experience of the patient and provider in uh, a healthcare institution. So how did you uh, first get involved with the Summer Institute at Yale? I actually met a, someone who had attended the program as a student, Zohar Letterman, at the UNESCO Global Conference on Medical Ethics and Medical Law. It was in Naples and we just kind of met each other at some social event and we bonded over our mutual interest in military medical ethics and from then we continued to work together and he kind of recruited me to be a part of this program and together we proposed that first class on um, medical ethics and war. And you've taught here for how many years? This is the fourth year. The fourth year. Mm -hmm. So what keeps you coming back? I just don't think that you can get the same experience anywhere else. I really appreciate the diversity in the student population, both in terms of their kind of educational backgrounds coming from different fields, but also uh, the different countries of origin. And it makes for very interesting discussions in class with new perspectives and new insights and allows me to kind of learn from the students as well and think about things in a way I hadn't thought of them before. And then the faculty is also really interesting and it allows me to kind of get an understanding of what other junior faculty in bioethics are doing and how we're kind of pushing the field forward. I was saying in an earlier interview that it's often the case that 
a bioethicist at a university is the only bioethicist at a university. That's not quite the case where you are, but still, uh, it's nice to be in a place where there are lots and lots of people from your field from all around the world. Oh yeah, definitely. I mean, I sometimes feel as though I'm so focused on military medical ethics that I don't find out about all of the different ways that the field is going. So when I'm here and I get to have these kind of casual conversations with faculty members or kind of brainstorm about collaborative activities, I find ways to kind of push my own research in new directions and where I can bring my own skills into someone else's kind of field of interest. And so it's very unique in that way. Excellent. And it's in New Haven, which is pretty. Yes, that's true. <laughs> Well, thank you very much for uh, being interviewed, and thanks for teaching the summer program. Thank you. Again. <laughs> All right. Thank you.